hey guys and welcome to another video this is a quick tutorial about how we can make explosive landmines in ue5 if you are a beginner it can be a good practice for working with blueprints it's a very straightforward and simple example and will help you get familiar with a couple of useful nodes which you can use in your blueprints for different purposes as well so let's jump right in and get started The first thing we need to do is to choose a model for our mine. I am using this model here from Sketchfab. You can just go to the website and search for free landmines and download the one you like and then drag the FBX file into your content browser. Here I have a simple material with the base color and now I am ready to make my blueprint. Let's right click in the content browser, create a blueprint, select actor, name it landmine and open it up. Here let's open the viewport and add our static mesh to the blueprint. Here in the components tab hit add and select static mesh. Now I'm gonna hit control space to open up my content browser and then drag the landmine asset into the static mesh section in the details tab. Now as we can see I have the landmine in my blueprint. The next step is make some blueprints and tell the engine that whenever our character hits the mine it should make an explosion effect, play the sound of an explosion and then destroy the actor. In order to define the area in which we want the mine to get activated, we need a box collision. Here hit add and type box collision and add it to the blueprint. Scale it as you wish and now here in the details tab you can see that we have a lot of events which can be triggered using this collision box. The one we want to work with is on component begin overlap. Hit the plus button to open it up and now here in the event graph we can add the effects we are looking for. This basically means that when a component enters the area we defined, a chain of events will happen in the scene. The first one is the explosion effect. So drag a line from the event output and add a spawn emitter at location to the event graph. Here let's choose the explosion particle which comes with the starter content in Arial and for the location we need the actor location so it plays the explosion exactly wherever the actor is. Drag a wire from location and type get actor location and you're good to go. Now let's compile, drag the blueprint into the scene and see what we have got so far. Yeah, as you can see when I enter the area we made, we can see the explosion. It's too small, so let's go back to the blueprint and here in the scale section, let's put the values on 4 and now we can see that it's looking much better. Alright, now we want to hear the sound whenever the mine explodes. All you need to do is to add a play sound 2D function and then choose an explosion sound for it. And after we are done, we want to destroy the actor we made. Okay, now let's add a couple of mines to the scene and play the level. Yeah, as you can see everything is working perfectly and we have made the landmine mechanism with only a couple of simple functions. These guys here are quite useful and you can take advantage of them in your blueprints for different purposes as well. I hope you enjoyed this video and if it helped you learn something new, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys for watching, see you in the next one.